we are making a video that has been requested by you. It has been sent to me on Instagram and I loved it in the second that I saw it because I actually have no light in the studio yet. So I thought that this could be such a scenographic piece and here it is. If you're the one who sent it to me, thank you, all of you thank him because it's gonna be a great piece. And the best part is that it's super easy. And remember, if I can make it, you, you can, can make, make it better. better. The equipment for today is a lot of pieces of wood that we're gonna cut and shape just to create a base for our cloud because I don't think that the cotton is stiff enough. Then we're gonna get some lead lights that we're gonna get with a remote because we're smart enough to turn it on like this because I don't know how to install buttons. <laughs> and... Look at this dude. Way too much cotton. First step of all is to decide how tall you want your lamp. I am an exaggerated human being, so I'm gonna make it as tall as me. But you can totally decide to make it smaller because normal people have smaller rooms and you can totally do it. I think that the minimum you need to make it somehow significant is like 50 centimeters for so this size, but you can totally choose whatever you want. And if you're worse than me and you're crazy, you can make it a three meter one. Obviously we wanna go straight, it's not really gonna happen, but who cares? Once we created our perfect base, we have to create height and width. It's not so important to be precise, but we want it to be more or less the same size for all of them. So we're gonna make one, and after that, we're just gonna place it on top of the wood many times to make them all identical. Before we go any further, we need to take one second thank all my Patreon subscribers. Thank you Zari, Shalom, Asia, Kismet Sarkin, Leila, my mom, Anais L, and the newcomer, Shahar. First step is done, and now we need to screw the height. But as you know, we cannot screw here on the skinny part, because otherwise our wood is gonna pop in half. Pop in half. So we're gonna use wood nails, so that they're invisible and they're not gonna break our wood. Yes! This is pretty dope, but I think that it's gonna be extremely complicated to create this structure if it's on the table. So we're gonna go ahead and hang it on the ceiling because that's where it's gonna go anyway. Anywhere, once we're finished, that's where it's gonna end up being. So let's do that. some more rope to be sure that this thing is staying in place. We don't want to break it after we have all the construction on it. So now that that bad boy is completely secured, we take out our light. Ah, oh, it's already sticky. First we check that it works. Okay, we want to keep the cables of the electricity outside because this need to connect outside our lamp. All the rest we're gonna wrap it around. We arrived to the phase where we have no freaking clue what we need to do because we need to uh, completely fill it up with cotton also in the empty areas. I am gonna use this that is spray glue for foam. So I suppose it's gonna use and work in the same way. But let's see. you love this thank you so much for sending me so many cool ideas to do for this channel don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet because there's new amazing DIYs every single Monday and let's go see the reveal <laughs>